why Sexy Red is harder than all of the out. Pound Town, just left Pound Town. She's <laughs> genuine and real and authentic and really not trying to be nobody else. She's further than I thought. She, that woman is out of here. All of the current sh that's going on in hip hop is boring and disgusting. So it's like a sigh of relief when something fresh and new and different comes and starts to work. Several months later. Say free my daddy. Turn this off. It, it's just whack. There's nothing to dress up. Free my, free my, only if he knew that the getting thick. Free my. I think it's insulting to us as a culture and as a people. There's a short shelf life on this. I think it's gonna come back to bite her and have long-term ramifications. Yeah, they said that I sell my soul. Should I just tell them the truth? <laughs> <laughs> Missing my baby right now. Free my motherfucking. God created you to help the man do God's will. That's why you are called in the Bible a help meet, not M E A T, M E E T. I be bow, 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 bow. That's that booty me. Look at them booty teeth. We're extra onions on it, baby. Don't play. <laughs> God created you as a consolation who is a worker and a producer. We like fast cars. We like that sell drugs with fast cars. Hell, cash, SRC. God gave man power, dominion over the fowl of the air, the fish of the sea, and every creeping thing that crawls. God told man, multiply, replenish the earth, and subdue it. And he put woman there to help the man to meet what God had put on man to do. Well, if the man ain't doing nothing, then how can you help a man do nothing? It's time for me to just keep it a hundred with y'all. Like, <laughs> yes, they got me in this. Shit. I don't know. I can't get out of it. I'm getting too much money. I'm getting too much money. Greetings, you polite savages, and welcome to another tip talk. You know your polite savages, everybody gets 15 minutes of fame. But the biggest thing is to realize when your 15 minutes is up. We say it a lot of times. We say a lot of times that fat meat ain't greasy. Haha, <laughs> word up to O'Shea. But the truth is this, Sexy Red, you thought that you could chew on the fat meat forever and that you would get no effects from it. But it appears by your comment section that your 15 minutes of fame is up. This is literally called doing anything for a dollar. I can't even repeat the hook in my head without being embarrassed. Sad. What ridiculous F is that? Why YouTube even suggest to me this fatherless behavior? Even Joe Button came out and said this. Nothing about this is dope. So normal songs, that ratchet ghetto sh still finds a way to make it really relatable. This is a reach. This don't even sound like a song you was going in there to make on your own. This don't sound like a song that's supposed to happen when you've seen as much success as she has seen with her music already. This is a mess. In other words, she's willing to use her platform and influence to promote destructive agenda in exchange for money and fame. That's why her music went left real fast. This sounds like now I'm with some people who are now giving me instruction on how to be ratchet. Some label exec Mm -hmm. thinks that this is the pulse of the culture. I think this is insulting. It's not the things that made it good before, it's just not there. So what's really happened? Well, it's just like this. You see, you thought the ass was too high. You thought that you were gonna be able to do it forever. You thought that the only thing you had to do was put out some music, be a little extra ratchet, pop it and drop it, and everybody was gonna flock to it. But the truth is this, ma'am. Your 15 minutes of fame that everyone gets, you're gonna fall victim to what everyone else falls victim to. Nobody knows when they're at 14 minutes and 59 seconds. These people that they sign in are not artists or musicians. When you caught one song, that was enough for your year. Today, the shelf life on two records is, which is nothing. There's no reason she should be in this position coming off the Drake record and coming off the Drake tour. She should not have to put this out. Sexy Red said it herself, she loves the money. 
Somebody, someone is pulling the strings, profiting off this most low vibrational behavior. Metaphorically, Sexy Red has sold her soul to the devil for a bag of silver coins and fame. If a sinister intention and energy is behind the cultural subversion, defined as a deliberate effort to undermine or weaken the cultural values, traditions, or institutions of a society, or in this case, then yes, the devil is alive and getting rich and fat. Slowly spreading its slick, venomous tentacles throughout Western society, strangling it into a state of moral decay and deterioration and submission. Sexy Red already shows she doesn't care or is at least unaware of the damage she is causing. You're a slave to the industry, the music industry. And they call the spoils of war booty. You will sing songs. Shake your booty. Bow, bow. That's that booty me. Hey, hey, hey. Look at the booty cheeks. You are the booty or the prize since he has conquered and destroyed your man. And you will do dances that suggest that that's who and what you are. This Larry, whoever the f is behind this, this ain't gonna work. Y'all gonna make her city girls whatever. But much faster. Yeah, quick. Way faster. Much faster. Y'all gonna get her out of here. That ain't gonna work. The normalization of this messy public image, Sexy Red and her handlers are intent on carrying out its goal of force feeding the public with what was once embarrassing behavior. If the devil were real and using human agents to do this, will by the way of incentives and profits, or better yet, money, sex, and power, then why not attack the historically oppressed people who happen to be at the same time the spearhead of mainstream culture? African American Roots is a primal, powerful, rhythmic force which could easily gain more power in creating everlasting positive outcomes. But what I'm guessing the devil working through music, people, and the powers that be is doing his damnedest not only profit off the plight and labor of the African American community, but siphoning the energy of the community like a parasite, acting as the agent of its regression, where the youth celebrate women like sexy red. And you know your polite savages, it's not just commentators like O'Shea Duke Jackson. Black women think that black men are hating on them for that, but it's really not hatred. It's really just brothers trying to look out. Like Tariq Nasheed. There's a reason why her handlers have her walking around with a wad of money bending over. The handlers that be, they want you looking much as much like a street as possible. That's what a street looks like. You bending over with a wad of money. <laughs> Like Corey Holcomb talking about this type of ratchetness. We finna be performing at the BET Awards, hmm. the Oscars, hmm. Planet Fitness, Popeyes, Planned Parenthood. You just trashed up the whole f community. The community is because out your doors walks trash and nobody thinks like that. Hell, even Charleston White went in on Sexy Red. Y'all hate her. She's delivering a whole spirit amongst young girls. This whole Spirit is fit to do a number on a young black girl. It is horrifying. Your five-year-old daughters are asking to listen to Pound Town and Ski Yee. They're gonna automatically think of a black girl wants it. Because of the imagery of sexy red, black girls are gonna start being molested at a rate that you guys have not seen like no other because of the imagery. We got ladies in her chat, in her own comment section saying, We started from the bottom and digging even deeper with this one. We have other folks saying things like, Notice how they don't allow other races to put out this type of bullshit. Money to these clowns is worthy than seeing their souls. The bottom line is this. When your own folks start turning on you, it's a cold game. A real cold game. Winter's coming, lady. I hope you got your jacket. Because the last thing we heard, you were saying, you just going to keep turning up on these folks. You just going to keep making this money and stunting on these hoes. Well, let's keep it a buck. You thought that you were gonna turn up and keep stunting on them. You thought you were gonna keep doing this, but we all know that it's almost over. You got kids? I don't have any yet. I what? gotta find a wife, yeah. So you ain't on a wife to have some kids. I guess I could just get a baby mama, but you think it's a better way to do it? If you wanna get it over, like you don't gotta be married to the person you had kids with. What are Sexy Reds fans called? Hoochie babies. The hoochie babies. Cause I'm a hoochie mama. I'm their mother. What if they even wanna be called hoochies? They the ones came up with the name. I ain't even feeling the name. I would've said some other shit. It's brought to you by Barstool Sports. It's seen by millions of people per upload featuring mainstream music, celebrities, comedians, sports stars, and internet influencers. What is wrong with this is that Sexy Red is negatively reinforcing a stereotype 
that you'll see echoed endlessly on the ignorant haters of people of color and the different on these bigoted accounts, threads, and comments. These intolerant, small-minded people are looking for every crumb and morsel of an opportunity to denigrate and diminish the status, reputation, and character of the people of color so that these intellectually challenged minions can feel superior about themselves. And you know, somebody called me a hater. And you're right. You're right, I am a hater. I hate the fact that the public image has been degraded to the point where this is normal. The public image has been degraded to the point that it's almost like we like multiple baby daddies. We like the fact that we live in, a, in an environment that's just not good, that's toxic for us, that's designed for us not to grow. That we like the fact that we are going to voluntarily take a step back instead of a step forward. Yeah, you know what? I hate all of this. I hate the public image. I hate the fact that we were once looked upon as hardworking geniuses, that we created jazz music, that we created hip hop, and we let hip hop degrade to this point. The bandwagon effect, which refers to the tendency of people to adopt certain behaviors, styles, or attitudes simply because everyone else is doing it. The more people adopt a particular trend, ski ye, pound town, twerking and grinding, and any other associated acts, the more likely it that other people will also hop on the bandwagon. And this is so apparent on social media, on TikTok. One of the major roles that a mother plays in a child's life since children are with their mothers from conception to adulthood is passing down traditions, preserving cultural heritage, and instilling values of respect within their communities. It's astonishing that somehow Sexy Red is seen as a model of the mother. What Sexy Red is doing is changing the culture for worse. You got women of all colors and shapes and sizes and creeds yelling out ski ye doing the dances. Now I'm not saying that Sexy Red's the only person that does this, but she is now the poster child of the most debaucherous. Sexy Red is here to help her handlers and herself to profit off the community. Whether you believe in the devil or not, what we do know is this demonic energy is taking grass and hold of our Western world. Ha! Reverend Durong had to step in and just address the haters. Ha. I want to talk to the congregation of haters. Ha. The ones who come up here on the tip network and you got the nerve to say that because these women are making money, we hate on them. Ha, ha. First of all, let me let you in on a little secret partner. Ha. The women ain't the ones really making money. It's a bunch of men running these labels. Ha. It's a bunch of men who don't look like you, exploiting you and making the money. Ha. Let me channel my Rodney and Joe Cooley and tell me that you don't hear me though. <laughs> the truth is this. You want to act like it started with N.W.A. You want to act like there wasn't a KRS-One out when N.W.A was out. You want to act like Ice-T when he said crazy stuff at the end, the gangster and the pimp didn't die. You want to act like Lauryn Hill wasn't a counterbalance. Huh? You want to act like Foxy Brown didn't actually have lyrics besides sexual exploitation. Huh? You want to forget all of the balance. Huh? You want to act like there wasn't a public enemy. Huh? There wasn't an ex-clan. Huh? You want to act like Outkast didn't exist with Sorry Miss Jackson. Huh? You want to act like Tupac didn't have the dichotomy inside of his lyrics and he is the biggest selling rap artist in history. I get a lot of friends because I have respect for women ultra respect for women. Even the females know it's bitch. Females don't even hang with females. Why would they expect a n to understand something they don't understand? Hoes get horny. Stop. Watch. Every funeral you go to, it's that was horny the night before. So you need to start checking these Keep your If you cool female, that's all good. But if you the you need to break her ass and I say all ass. of this to say this. Ah, you can't select the history you want. Maybe you should just shut up. Maybe you should just read. Maybe you should just learn something. Maybe you should just get a little knowledge in your life before you come talking about this. And one thing I'm going to tell you, ah, one thing that you can always ask yourself, ah, can you handle the tip? The true worth of a race must be measured by the character of its womanhood. Mary McLeod, Bethune civil rights pioneer and activist. That's all I got for you, you polite savages. Like and subscribe, hit us up on all social media networks, and as always, ask yourself one burning question. Can you handle the tip? We're out. We found true happiness.